Do you buy the idea we're heading for recession? In your years with Greenspan, were you able to predict a recession? Uh, nobody really predicts a recession. What you can say is there's an elevated chance of it, just like you could say you have an elevated chance of infection if you go into bad places right. without a mask. Uh, there is an extremely elevated chance of recession. Uh, and if you had to place your money, I, I, I bet that within 12 months the economy is in downturn. I look at this, Vince, and then I look at the parlor game of the Fed, which is now different than when you were holding court at the Eccles building. And the basic idea here is we're gaming out a, a, a rate movement higher, and then we are, quote, unquote, going to figure out to pivot and guess when that occurs. Have you ever seen anything like this, or is this new uh, pundit territory? No. This, this is old-style monetary policy. Right now, monetary policy is hard but simple. It's hard in the sense they have to inflict pain on the economy to get inflation down. It's simple because the strategy is, if you don't know what the right neutral funds rate is, put it at a level you sure is restrictive and then keep it there until you have demonstrable evidence that inflation is going back to goal. So if you're not exactly sure how to calibrate policy, don't. Put it at a plateau next year and just wait. That's what Chair Powell told us yesterday. Is that what he told us yesterday, Vince? Or did you hear perhaps a little bit more of a concession around perhaps moderating their stance in order to avoid a hard landing? Uh, I don't get how most of the headlines came out of that uh, 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 remarks uh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, he repeated his press conference uh, characterization. You, we're raising rates till we get them to a level, and then we're going to keep them there. Uh, he dismissed a lot of data. Uh, with regard, I don't, don't want to be on the other side of Mike's argument, but I think I have to be. Uh, yesterday, Chair Powell said inflation moves around sometimes uh, after good numbers, bad numbers come out. So I think that they would down downweight the PCE price part of this. And then what he was saying was we've got to keep the pace of aggregate demand below that a trend. So he should be worried about the spending part about it. This was not a good morning for the Fed. Well, Vincent, this is really the key point. A lot of people are saying that there is a downward shift in inflation, and it's coming at a pace that's surprising analysts, that this is good news. It's going to allow the Fed to move away from some of the rate hikes and even cut rates sooner than previously expected. Do you think people are getting ahead of themselves, that really those inputs are not declining quickly enough, and that they could even reaccelerate based on some of the rollover effects in areas, for example, like used cars? Uh, events always look bigger in the rearview mirror than they really are. Uh, I think there is a tendency to over, over, overweight this incoming information. Chair Powell said that yesterday, by the way. He said inflation's volatile. Sometimes after good readings, you get bad readings. He was basically telling us not to be so stressed about it. Do I believe inflation is off its peak? Absolutely. Uh, goods price inflation has come off the boil because supply chains have been been improving and market economies work by bringing resources into sectors that are overheated but it's spilled over to service inflation that's what you got to worry about that's what Powell's worried about the durable part part of inflation that's still above the Fed's goal. Vincent Reinhardt, Olivier Blanchard reaffirmed a higher level of inflation we can be comfortable with. He went from 4% in the crisis of 08, 09, down to something more like a 3% level is the new 2%. Uh, without going into the details of the Blanchard essay in the FT, is he onto something here, which we are going to rationalize our way away from the 2% level? Uh, so yes and no. The, the yes part is back in the mid-90s when central banks settled on a 2% inflation goal, it's not like they had a great conversation about the costs and benefits of that long-term goal. And we know more about problems with the zero or lower bound. And so we should have a serious discussion of what the right goal is. In the United States, it's got to include the Congress, by the way, because it's the Congress that spec specifies price stability. That's my no part. I wouldn't want to have a 
a conversation with the Congress about the Federal Reserve's goals most times, certainly not in the next in, in the next two years. Moreover, it's one thing to redefine the goal when you're succeeding. It's another thing to redefine the goal when you're failing. We call that the Bank uh, of just, <laughs> Yeah, that, that's just base drift. That uh, you, you just can't do it. 